all right guys me and levi just got back from town who it is go time here on the mountain which means that me and levi need to do our father and son project and get this door built let's get going all right guys as i was saying earlier me and my son is about to do a barn door here in the tiny house excuse the mess it has been crazy <laughs> this it? week we have tore it apart you got to blow it up before you make it better right well i'm good at blowing it up let's see if i can make it better come on all right first thing that we got to do we got to go ahead and get our measurements right here because originally this wasn't designed for a barn door so i'm going to make it do what it do uh the plan is is i'm going to cut one of those burnt two by fours to match it i know y'all like it but we're gonna measure one from here to here and from here to here and then we're going to put those in there flush with the trim right here on both sides and that right there will give us a good solid base to mount this bracket that's going to hold the actual barn door sliding back and forth now guys these openings are like within half inch seven sixteenths they are very very close the idea is when the door is shut for the bathroom the closet will be open when the door is open for the bathroom your closet will be hidden now i'm in here most of the time by myself so the door to the bathroom will stay open which means the closet will stay hidden like a traditional closet so i think it's going to work out great but i got my mother my sister-in-law my brother and my son and tim which is the cameraman behind <laughs> you thank you go ridge life go ridge life got a professional film around here today guys we're about to make it do what it do boo boo make it do what it do all right let's get some measurements maybe do it from here are we gonna like screw it into that plate oh yeah all right, and this right here is going to be 35 and three quarters is going to be tight. Bathroom, 35, three quarters. All right, now I taught my son to read a tape measure many, many years ago. He's probably 12 years old whenever I started giving him like a legit testing yeah. on, on a tape yeah. measure. His first project with me is cut man was actually a hardwood floor in our master bedroom yep. for uh, me and his mom. And it was a big bedroom yep. with, with a walk-in closet, whole deal. Square foot of the tiny house. Yeah. Like a huge yeah. bedroom. It was yeah. a big, at least as big as the tiny house. Yeah. It was huge. And uh, he only had one or two, two yeah. uh, miscuts out of that whole floor. I so, mean, top let, right, top right. Let's you see, I mean? 21 years old, 12 like years old. Let's see if he's gotten a little rusty. <laughs> We'll see. Pink? It's really? 28 and 5 eighths. I mean, that's, this is his, his equipment, man. It ain't mine. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be that one. Right, Tim? What'd you say? It's going to be that one, right? What'd you say? Uh, 28 and 5 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Still got it, but I still want to be sure before, <laughs> I, before I make any marks. Be safe. Yeah, sorry. Sixteenths are the small ones. Yep. The ones in between them are the eights. Still got it. Somewhat. So you're yeah. not gonna talk yeah. some crap about that. Next one is thirty five and three quarters. Looks right to me. Uh, chop saws, and they, uh, they're a little off sometimes. Sometimes it's better just to follow the edge of the blade. Laser doesn't add too much. This could get complicated. If these are the wrong size, it's Tim's fault because he was the supervisor. <laughs> Cameraman only. You can tell that's my son. <laughs> Close enough. Slightly shy. Slightly shy. Width of the blade. Yeah, that's about it too. 
Mm -hmm. You can cut on the wrong side of the blade. I tried pinning it on the right side. It's okay. Alright. Or he gave his wrong number. Definitely not. Right on the money, and it was just a hair. Hair. That has to look square. All right, basically we're gonna toenail some of these uh, screws in here like so. Go ahead and get them pre-started so when we're up in the air. Get them to where they just come out being that we had a little miscut. <laughs> I've made worse cuts. And the best thing to do, start from the bottom get one side exactly the way that you want it and come over here to the other side and get it exactly the way you want it Now the reason why I don't have Levi doing this is he's a little bit more vertically challenged than I am. It would be like right at the, the peak of my reach. So yeah, he's let him, let him handle it. So we'll do the same thing again. Do it one more again. We got our header up uh, the little gaps and stuff's not that big of a deal with the design that we're actually doing here in the tiny house anyways i was just messing with him um being that we're doing like a rustic type cut build thing my style is rustic modern i like to decorate modern and modern colors but i like to build rustic i just like the way that they tie together so this is actually perfect all right guys uh next step Levi is about to burn some wood. Let's do this thing. All right, guys, we are out here. I've already got the torch set up for him. Now we are both in Crocs. I would not recommend that, um, but it does have a long wand and he's gonna stay back. So we'll be all right. We're only gonna do four pieces of trim right here, uh, just so we can kind of trim out the door once we put it together. More power.
Let's go from my house. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Looks good to me. All right, guys, while we're waiting on the backup battery to charge up, we're gonna go ahead and glue and clamp these. Hold it steady. The glue is not a uh, brand new, so have some patience. Beautiful. Look at that bead. Consistent. Boom. I'm gonna put them together. Line up the ends. Let me line my end up. Yep. One of the ends can to be cut. And I, I got these little clamps here. You don't want to tighten it up too much on one side until you get the other side on. And you can use your bar there to kind of make it Mm -hmm. Level. There you go. Now it's locked. All right, go to that end, and we're gonna tighten together. too tight because this is kind of factory pieced together and glued to the end. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Alright, we need to get some kind of little rag. Wipe that bead and wipe the bead. Thanks. Thanks. Just remeasure and do this side so when you bring your blade down, you can test it there. Because if not, if you do it the other way, it's very easy for you to cut the width of your line. Looks good to me. Uh, basically what happened was uh, there's not enough headroom for this door the way this particular door thing kind of sets and uh, somebody sent me this door thing so I'm gonna use it um, but it rides up pretty high and there's no no clearance like you would on a normal ceiling so basically I'm having to extend the header down so we can lower the door a little bit which is gonna cut into the headroom but I'm 6'2 so that's still a decent amount of door i mean come on if y'all been following me through this whole tiny house thing all the doors are short come on so we're gonna do the same thing that we did before
Okay, now we gotta do the same thing in the clothes. Yeah. Don't move down though, I got it. Okay, let's figure out um, this. This, this is, yeah, let's, yeah, that. Let's figure, yeah, that. Let's figure that out. Whatever that is. Okay, so you have a doohickey, a boo hickey, and a ooh hickey. That goes on there, something like that. That connects to the door. That goes like that, door opens. Okay, I think I got it. Hand me a number three. What? Number three. <laughs> number three. We're right in front of you. Your oh. hand's touching. There you go. Dave. <laughs> three. I don't know what the number is, Tim. <laughs> I didn't know what piece it was. I didn't read the manual myself. <laughs> Thirty-six and three quarters. Cut me at uh, thirty-six. That screw's not going all the way to the wall right there, so I don't need to notch out around it. I don't think. Is this gonna be too wide too? No. What this is gonna do is cover up both of the two by fours. Ah. Okay. I'm trying to lay this out right here because the lag bolts that they sent is thicker than the 2x4. So what I'm going to do is add a 1x6 on the back side of this being that we had to double up our header anyways. The door is going to hide most of the front up here. So what that will do is give it more of a custom look like it's been trimmed out.
Whew, that was a lot of uh, meticulous, crazy steps. If I'm not teaching nothing else today, I'm teaching per 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 That's going to be your first one. All right, guys, we went ahead and went with 78 and a half. Uh, I am gonna have some shiners on the back of these boards. I do not have screws that's the right length. I'm sure I do somewhere, but they're in goat catastrophe and I can't find them. So I'm gonna mount all of this trim with drywall screws. I do got the grinder with a cutting blade out. I'm just gonna cut, cut the back end of them. And after I uh, do the whitewash and all that other stuff on this door later on, you're never gonna see it. It's not ideal. But I'm out of time. Well, let's see how uh, steady my wrist is after uh, a day of some booyaka. <laughs> A sixteenth of an inch. Overcorrected. A sixteenth of an inch. Yep. Uh. Oh, just shy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you wish, son. <laughs> you wish. It's all right. You're rusty. You ain't built in a while. I get it. You come back up to this mountain though, I'll have you dialed back in, boy. I like laptop work. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. 
Tim, why ain't you making me free drill? <laughs> I like about this is whenever I do do the whitewashing it's going to give us some character with all the distress marks from the grinder get add to that rustic Grinders and Crocs, hit me up. Coming up. Looks pretty good. You know what I didn't think about? trim down here. The In order for it to go all the way to the door, that trim's gonna have to be cut out. Got the grinder. That's yeah that's that ain't that big of a deal. I knew it! I knew it Tim! I knew it! Now what we're gonna do we need to shim the bottom to exactly what we want it to be. Mm -hmm. Level off the door and then we'll figure out where we want to put these.
Point of no return, Tim. Point of no return, bro. <laughs> this is true perseverance right here. Yeah, like right here before the latch actually even goes back there. You know what I mean? Keep like that, keep that, keep that, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. on my mom, she's got a big line right there where it's. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I want the gap as tight as possible. Because the board, the trim's gonna go all the way up to it just about. All right, analyze it. Well, I like it. I like it a lot. Well guys, it's been an exciting time here with Tim and my son. Uh, we've uh, gotten into quite a bit of stuff. Always. I did not know that this was going to be such a project. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to end this video, guys. And I love every single one of y'all. And until we see each other again, come on, let's go on another adventure. Come on. Just not this one. <laughs> come on.